Okay, the solar kettle had been sitting out in the sun for two and a half hours. I had it out in the open in the bright sun. I just brought it over here. What we're gonna do is hopefully is see if it's boiling. The easiest way I know how to do that. I don't have a infrared temperature gauge yet. All the ones on the way. This water's hot. I can feel it a little bit through here. I don't really think it's boiling. We're gonna pour it, pour it in there and find out. Okay, this will hold about 16 ounces of water, it says. It's been sitting in the sun two and a half hours. Oh, it's hot, but it's not boiling. If it's hot enough through this plastic, it's making my fingers uncomfortable. Okay, that's hot enough to cook with. I'd say, judging by the temperature, it's roughly 180 degrees. Okay, now what we have here is a mountain house freeze-dried breakfast skillet. Hash brown scrambled eggs, pork sausage patty, peppers, onions, and the dog likes that. What we're gonna do, three quarters of this bottle goes in, it's 12 ounces, we better get this mess out. And we're gonna let it sit. Looks like mm, dried egg chunks. Come here, Slim. And this, this here is my little buddy, the Italian little Italian greyhound. Now we're gonna leave this sit. As it says, add a cup and a half, which is 12 ounces of boiling water. wasn't quite boiling. Stir carefully. Close zipper. Don't really have anything to stir it with, so we'll shake it about. It says after four minutes, stir again. Let, we're gonna let this sit a while, then we'll come back at it. Okay, I've heated this water for this using solar, so I decided to do a review on this. I haven't tried one of this, this sort specifically. This is a mountain house freeze-dried breakfast skillet, hash browns and scrambled eggs mixed with pork, sa pork sausage patty, peppers, and onions. Now it took 12 ounces of water, which I did just a little bit earlier. This says it's two servings, which they're talking roughly 700 calories for this. And this, this run in at, how much was this bad boy? It was on clearance at Walmart for seven bucks. And they're normally, $8.94, $9 now anymore for these, getting kind of high. So now that it's mixed up and everything stirred up, the water wasn't quite boiling. It was running probably 180 degrees, which is the best you're gonna get out here this time of year. It does smell pretty good. It smells actually like a good omelet. That's what it looks like. I probably got just a touch bit of water in it. We're gonna have the Slim. Slim, come here. Come here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Hey, come here. Come here, Sammy. He can smell it. He's over there licking his lips. He'll be around. Doesn't taste too bad. That's with a funky look as the hash browns in it. Well, he likes it. Me, myself, it doesn't taste bad. This is adobo seasoning. It doesn't hurt anything. For the price, they're okay to they're okay if you're pack, backpacking or whatnot. It's kind of kind of pricey for what it is. It's dehydrated stuff, freeze dried actually. So it tastes all right. It has really no weight. Still has some volume, but if you're carrying it in a pack, that'd be great. Um, I don't know for due to the price, it'd be cheaper. Like if you're using it for oh shite food at home in case something happens. I would go with normal canned goods and stuff that you normally eat just because you typically have more room at home to store stuff in. 
whereas this is a lot easier to carry. You figure this is a meal or two maybe for when you're backpacking. It's a lot easier and lighter to carry. Then all you have to do is worry about water and heat. Easy enough. All in all, it is good. I would probably eat it again without too much of a hassle. And the dog seemed to like it, which is even better. That way you can keep him fed too if you have to.